because I didn't come out publicly until the 90s, all right, really, um, I missed a whole lot of gay and lesbian life and a whole lot of gay and lesbian experience and certainly of lesbian experience. And it was, I joined the lesbian synagogue in 1992 and it was just before my 60th birthday. And I had not been out publicly anywhere. And um, my I'd been in a long-term relationship and it, it had broken up. And I decided this new rabbi was being, lesbian rabbi was being installed and I, and I would go. It was, first of all, the first time uh, that I acknowledged even to myself that there was community. All right. It was nearing the end of the AIDS crisis, of the first AIDS part. And I had not lived through that because I hadn't come out until I was in my 50s or 60s. I hadn't experienced um, homophobia, except for my mother saying I should you know, stay away from the lesbians. I hadn't experienced that um, when I was growing up. They had, I noticed on the wall of the synagogue at the time of the installation that, that they had a woman's group that met once a month, a, a, a lesbian, later, maybe it was called a lesbian Shabbat or something like that. And I decided to go. And I went in part because I wanted to see what it was like. I went in part because this friend of mine, uh, who I had not had a lesbian experience with, had died. And, and I wanted to bring it into this kind of a setting. And the women who were there were all much younger uh, than I was. They were uh, probably in their 20s or their 30s, and half of them were in blue jeans, and a third of them had earrings in their noses. And nobody, nobody cozied up to me and necessarily wanted to be my friend. <laughs> and it was some time later, in the course of a discussion about being a lesbian and being a Jewish lesbian and what that was all about, um, that said somebody turned to me and said, what do you know? You know, you were married, you have children, you know, your business clothes and you wear lipstick. What kind of a lesbian are you? I, when she said it, I think I just crept back into my shell. I knew I was different because I walked into there, you know, from a business background. And this was the first lesbian thing I had ever done. And, um, but I still feel, even though I've done, been working for 20 or more years, in the gay and lesbian community, um, my credentials are questionable, you know? um, and uh, it's 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 kind of a very strange feeling. I now belong to two synagogues. One is the gay and lesbian synagogue, and one is um, a mainstream synagogue. And I do a lot of work on aging in the mainstream synagogue. And I sort of ask myself, am I, am I being disloyal? You know. Uh, but some of the issues are the same, but some of the issues are very different. The scars are different. <laughs> <laughs>